Alright guys, I want to show you now how to lay out side A of your silk plate here. Alright, our silk plate, we'll call this silk plate A, we'll call that silk plate B and silk plate C, and I'll make three separate videos here on how to lay out your 16 inch on center spacing and how to lay out your stairwell opening over there. So, side A, let's talk about just our 16 inch on center spacing. What we're going to do is we're going to hook our tape measure on to the end of our wall here. Just like so, our sill plate we're going to hook on just like this. We're going to go to the first red line on our tape measure. I have a whole video on how to lay out 16 inches on center. Since our lumber is one and a half inches thick, the dimensional lumber we're going to use is one and one half inches thick this way. We have to mark the edge of that lumber. So we're going to 16 inches to the center. We're going to fall back three quarters of an inch. All right, so we're going to come hook our tape on here. Go to the 16, we're going to mark three quarters less or 15 and a quarter, just like that. Once we have that done, we can take our framing square. On our framing square, we have a tongue and a blade on our framing square. The tongue, I always refer to as the tinier part of the tongue, is one and a half inches thick. The same thickness as our two by four. So now that we have this marked, I take my framing square. I sit it in this manner. See how I slide it down, make sure it's tight against my board. I slide it over and I mark both sides of where my floor joist is going to sit. The floor joist will sit on the sill plate like this, one and one half is inches in from the end. So one and one half inches in from the edge of our sill plate is gonna be where the end of our floor joist is gonna be. So it will sit like so, this will be the first floor joist we installed. But before we get to that, we have to continue to lay out the rest of our on center spacing. So to do that, again, there's two different ways. I can hook on my, the end of my sill plate at this point. You can see that 16 is right in the middle. I'm gonna to go to the next red line, 16 inch on center. 16 plus 16 is 32. I'm gonna fall black, three quarters of an inch. Put a mark. I'm gonna go down to the next one. 48, fall back three quarters of an inch, put an X. Go to the next red mark, fall back three quarters of an inch, put an X. Go to the next red mark, fall back three quarters. Rex red mark, fall back three quarters. Next red mark, fall back three quarters. Next red mark, fall back three quarters. And then one here at the end. Now I have them all marked where I want them. I can easily take my framing square now and mark both sides of my floor joists where I'm going to want those. And I just ride it along the edge of my sill plate like this. It's easy here because I'm not standing, you know, a lot of times there's a ditch here so I, I have to be standing on the wall while I'm, while I'm laying this out. Here we're lucky we're not really building a basement. We're unlucky however you look at it I guess. All right, so once we have all that done, how I mark the edge here is I'm gonna snap a line. I'm gonna, and this is gonna mark the end of where all my floor joists will sit. So I'll come over here, I'm gonna measure in one and a half inches this way, put my crow's foot, I'm gonna measure in one and a half inches down here, because that's the thickness of my lumber again. And now I can go ahead and snap a line, and this will represent the ends of my choice. All right, so my floor joist system will have a header joist, what we refer to as a header joist here, along the blue line. Let me grab another piece of lumber here. We'll have when we're installing this, we'll lay out our layout marks on the girder here in, a, in another video. And we'll lay out our marks on the other side of the wall. But essentially what's going to happen now is our floor joist location is going to be just like this. This is called the header joist. It'll be out here flush with the end of our sill plate. It'll be the whole length of the wall, 12 feet long. And our floor joist will sit 
like so on our layout marks, all right? Really important. The big mistake most amateur construction workers make is they don't take the time to lay things out. Then they go ahead and build it and it's wrong and they gotta tear it all apart. So when we're professional construction workers, we always lay out where everything is gonna go before we install it to make sure it's all gonna fit perfectly. And then we put it together very quickly. We spend a lot of time on our layout marks, but we don't spend much time actually installing because it, it goes pretty smooth then. Thanks.